Hi, my name's Keith. In this video, I'll be giving you a demo of the Sequential Circuits Model 800 Sequencer. I'll show basic sequencer operation, how to do simple arranging, and also how to edit note, pitch, and duration. Before starting with the demos, I'll explain my setup. I'm playing a Pia 9700 series modular synth into the Sequential Circuits Model 800 Sequencer. The PIA is only supplying CV and gate voltages. It's not generating any audio or doing any processing. The playout from the Model 800 is going through a Moog source. For the first demo, I'm going to play a simple yet famous bass line. It's straight 16th notes, so there's no syncopation. Once I record it and have it playing back, I'll show how to, how to use the memory bank switches to do some simple arranging. The first thing is to figure out how many of the memory banks you're going to fill up. I'm going to play four groups of 16 notes, so that requires four memory banks. So I'll just select the first four. The next thing to do is to turn the clock on. You can do that with this switch, or I'll use the foot switch, and the clock LED just lit up there. The next thing to do is arm the record function. So you can either push this green button, or I'll use the foot switch and the record LED lit up. It doesn't start counting until you play the first note. I'm going to play this half time, so it's going to take a few seconds for me to uh, play it in, so uh, bear with me. On the last note there, I push the stop button which is on the foot switch, which is the same as this. And it starts to go immediately into uh, playback loop mode. I'm going to hit the double sweet speed switch to put it to the correct speed. There we go. And I'll just let it play through once. And then the next thing I'll show you is if we only enable one of the cells, so I have the first cell enabled only, it will stay in that memory uh, bank and just play those same 16 notes over and over and over again. So it's playing that one. Now I'll enable the next one. And now it'll simply play those two. If I enable three, it'll play all three, and now back to all four. For the second demo, I'm going to play a well-known syncopated riff. With analog step sequencers, syncopation is usually hard to program, at least complex uh, syncopation is, because normally every note value has to have the same duration. But with the Model 800, it's measuring the gate on and gate off time, so each note can be any arbitrary duration at all. The first thing you have to do, again, is to pick which memory banks you're going to fill up. I don't want to disturb my first sequence, so I'll select uh, banks 5 through 8. Then I'll turn the clock on with the foot switch. Then I'll enable record mode. And now I'll uh, play my sequence. And now it's playing back uh, syncopated. For the third demo, I'm going to play another well-known yet simple bass line. It's straight eighth notes, so there's no syncopation. And then I'll show you how to record over the note duration to turn it into a syncopated rhythm. So like before, first you select your memory banks, turn the clock on, enable record mode, and then start playing. So then I push the record button on the foot switch to go back into record mode. Now I'm going to disable the voltage record so it will only record uh, note duration. Now I, I can play a syncopated rhythm. It doesn't really matter what note I play because it won't actually record it. And now 
now it's playing it back with that syncopated rhythm. For the fourth demo, I'm going to play another well-known bass line, and this time after I've recorded it, I'm going to change some of the pitch information without changing the note durations to make it more interesting. So, like before, you enable the memory bank you're going to use, or a series of memory banks, enable the clock, go into record mode, and then uh, make your recording. very simple. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to step through the sequence and change a few of the pitches to a higher octave so that you'll be able to hear the difference when I play it back. So first I reset the sequence to the beginning and then I step through to the notes I want to change. It's kind of awkward, you have to do this blind. So I kind of know in advance and then I push the key down that I'm interested in changing and then hit the single voltage uh, record switch so that overwrote position 2 in memory bank 13 with the key, uh, note value that I just pushed down then I'll go to the next one I want to change I'm only going to do four of these so I won't take up too much time and the last one now I'll reset the sequence and now I'll play it back and you'll hear the higher pitches that I overwrote in the sequence Now that I'm done with the demo, you might want some additional tech information about the sequencer. So I've created another video called Sequential Circuits Model 800 Tech Overview. Thanks for watching.